it'll pull at your heartstrings, it'll make you think, it'll make you wonder. And I think that's what theatre should do. Billy is my chief in the village. He's someone who has always been unquestionable in his position, but he's reaching a point where he's vulnerable because he's reached an age and he falls to the sudden sickness, this illness, this unexplainable illness. And basically it forces him to uh, have to choose or to pick someone to carry on his legacy. So it's his dilemma of him fighting for his position but also fighting against death itself. Does Safa Asamoa, can it walk hand in hand within the Western society? Can Fa'asamoa back in the islands, is that the same or relatively along the same lines as how we live in, in New Zealand? They'll have an understanding as to why he is that man, why he is that hard on his kids, why he wants to hold tradition and so strong as Fa'asamoa, because in his way, or in his eyes, he sees that Fa'asamoa being lost. If there was a theme in there that I wanted to talk about, it's basically we're all looking for a direction and that's what a matai should be. There's a thing called Fa'asimu Manga and it's basically, it's a different translation for it, it's basically a direction. Ola Pepelo is old, it's new, it's a, a modern classic, there's something for everyone in it really. So there's movement, there's singing, there's texts and there's the richness of the Samoan language. And the story is amazing because it doesn't go, you're always right and my way's wrong, it just goes, are you doing it for the right reasons? Are you doing it to climb the ladder of success within your family? Or are you doing it from a pure heart? <laughs>